When we were in Toledo, Ohio, I met these 10-year-old twins, Matt and Mark. They are just the cutest twins. And you know how sometimes twins share responsibility? They sort of make one whole person. Well, Matt was this quivering little kid of emotion, and Mark was the tough one who got through life. And he took care of Matt, and he also took care of just about anything else that came around there. As I could tell. But Mark had gotten, and Matt had gotten suspended from school for fighting. And what they found out is that Matt and Mark were the, at 10 year old twins, were the sole care for their bedridden mother who had MS and diabetes. And these 10 year old twins were trying to cook for her so her diabetes could be under control. And they weren't making it. Sister Virginia got the mother into the hospital and got the boys some care and things were better. And Mark, the one in charge, took me on the tour of their 120-year-old old rectory that had been turned into their clubhouse, their, their education center. And he took me up to the third floor and he showed me the computer. And then he showed me some of his stuff up on the wall and what they were working on. And then he said to me, do you want to see something pretty? Well, of course, a 10-year-old boy asking me if I wanted to see something pretty? Of course. And he took me over and opened the door to the restroom, and it had new tile. And he said, look at it. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> and then, dearest of all, dearest of all, he said to me, you know, if you want, you can touch him. And he, he reached out his finger, and he ran it over the beveled design in the tile. But what I realized was 10-year-olds able to see beauty and to want to share it? Isn't that hope in the midst of struggle? Isn't that glorious? And that is who we're called to be. Sharing hope and lifting up the beauty that is all around us. 